Hey, it's your boy Cash Cut. I'm here with D. Lou, live in San Antonio. What's good, bro? Go ahead, talk your shit. Man, shit, bro. Man, just chilling, chilling. You know what I'm saying? Staying low, all this shit going on. Man, what you on? Yeah, same shit. Just trying to stay out the way. All right, so let's just get into it. So, for those who don't know you, you're a personal trainer and you're also an artist. Yes, um, just talk about your brand. Shit, my brand. You know what I'm saying? It's called Grind Town Fitness. I just started that about two years ago. You know what I'm saying? Just started posting like. Uh, just workout videos and me just training people, you know what I'm saying? It's just the word of mouth, you know what I'm saying? Everybody supporting around the city, you know what I'm saying? I got a couple of friends and stuff like that that was just like repost me and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Just going off from there, just doing it independently, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. How did it all start? Shit, honestly, it just started from like, I knew what I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? I was always in the gym, you know what I'm saying? Like that, and I know I always attracted like revenue you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to work out, so I'm saying, I, I need to do something with this, you know what I'm saying? I need to just put a brand to it, you know what I'm saying? That's how I started it. So I know people are probably wondering, are you more of an artist or are you more of a trainer, entrepreneur? Honestly, bro, I'm gonna say trainer, as of right now, because I'm probably more known for my training. Because honestly, with my music, I've only been putting out like videos by like four or five months. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really put that time in with the music, but people know me around the city for my training. You know what I'm saying? But the way the way I build my brand up with the training, I'm gonna do the same thing with the music. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I know y'all finna see y'all finna see. And how did the music all start? How'd you start fucking with that? Shit, honestly, bro, I always knew how to rap since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I always had a cousin and shit that just lived with me and shit like that. He'll rap, you know what I'm saying? I'll just listen in. And I just caught on to it real quick. I just always just caught myself just doing it since then but just recently i just really just kind of just started taking it serious you know what i mean mm -hmm. so how long would you say you've been you've been fucking with it total total you know like when i first first started first started yeah shit I, i'm 23 now but shit probably when i was like seven years old you know what i'm saying but with the music and shit like that i'm really influenced by like older rappers you know what i'm saying like i'm an old head you know what i mean i come off of like Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying, Beanie Siegel, DMX, them type of rappers, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with a, a lot of like the modern artists and shit like that, but it's just something about the, that old music, you know what I'm saying? It's just more authentic to me, so, you know what I'm saying? And just with my music, I'm finna bring that same type of taste, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like, damn, because you can always say like music was better back then, you know what I mean? But yeah, y'all finna see with this music shit for sure. What's your views on the music right now? Shit, honestly, it was just like, just on, uh, I just started my own, uh, my YouTube channel. I was just posting the gym shit on there. Then just with the, um, my first video was the greatest. It got about like 2.3K, 2.3K, not that much, but you know what I'm saying? But people was watching it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta start somewhere, you know what I'm saying? With this music shit, like whether you just put out the video, you get five, 10 views, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta keep going, keep going, you know what I'm saying? Then I dropped a video called Maintain. That shit had had like 1.6. I dropped a video called Pain Scars, that shit probably at like 1.3 and Vibes, that shit is like 1.4 but shit, y'all need to go check my shit out, search me up on YouTube right now at DLU 1K you know what I'm saying, subscribe me, you know what I'm saying, check me out we finna go on from there Alright, and when you first started dropping music, like how'd you go about with promotion and shit, did you just throw it out there or share your shit, put it on posts, blogs, and shit like that? Shit, I just threw it out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I already had my revenue built up with the gym shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I'm like, shit, I'ma just tell them like, I do music, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm trying to do more than one thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to promote myself as just like a trainer. I'm a trainer, artist, businessman first, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, we can do business any kind of way, but it just gotta be the genuine way, you know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's all, that's all. All right, and you also mentioned earlier that you had your own gym. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Talk about that. Shit, um, honestly, with the gym and shit, I had a partnership with this dude, you know what I'm saying? He was just doing this thing on the side, you know what I mean? And I just, actually, I've been to that gym like a long time ago, probably like two, three years ago, and I had a um, partnership with this dude, you know what I'm saying? I really just turned the gym up like that, but all that shit right now is just set back, you know what I mean, with all the virus and shit like that, so... 
I'm gonna get that big when that shit when all this shit clear up. I'm gonna get all that shit back up and going. You know what I'm saying? It's just like people know what I bring to the table. All right, and I mean, obviously, you said you're 23 years old. Like, what was the process in getting that partnership for anybody that's watching right now? It's like partnership. It was just like if you're gonna do business, you know what I'm saying? You got to do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? That's just you got to do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Um, just staying on top of your shit. You know what I'm saying? Just just being cordial. You know what I'm saying? Just just stand on top of your shit, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, don't try to be, some, you know what I mean? Don't just try to be like shysty about the shit, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if you're gonna do some shit, you gotta do it the right way, you feel me? Yeah. So that's all it is. Did you already have like some type of knowledge on the business aspect of it or? Shit, to be honest, bro, I didn't. I didn't because it's just like, I had a, I just had a goal, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, shit, I just had faith, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just had that shit in the back of my head. I just had faith, I said, I'm gonna have faith about this shit. And the way it come out is gonna come out. And the way everything came out is just like, I imagined it, you know what I mean? Like when I didn't have nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I really do come from the bottom. Like the bottom, bottom. Like I had started from phase one, like from phase one, I ain't come, you know what I'm saying? With no cosign or nothing like that. It was just like, just off the strength of me. Like that's all it was. All right, bro. So we're on the east side right now. So uh, just take us back. Are you born and raised out here? Yeah, San Antonio, Texas, born and raised. Talk about growing up for you. Shit, bro. Um, I grew up on the southeast side, you know what I'm saying? But I was always on the east side. Uh, I grew up at the YMCA, David Scott YMCA on the east side, Denver Heights as well. I was just at both places, you know what I'm saying? Met a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people around the city know me, you know what I'm saying? Just came up like that. All right, and were you into like school and sports and shit? Yeah, yeah, honestly, it was just like, I played in high school, like I was a real good football player in high school type shit like that but at the high school you know what i'm saying life just had you know what i'm saying just different you know what i mean different plans you know but since then i learned a lot accomplished a lot you know what i'm saying but stuff you know what, I mean? what were your aspirations at the time you know coming coming out of high school coming out of high school it was just like i got to do something you know what i'm saying it's just like once high school you know what i'm saying when, once high school is over with it was just like damn like you really you know what I'm saying? You finna evolve to something else, you know what I'm saying? You just going to school, then after that, you kinda in the free world, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you just gotta find your way, just find your groove, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. And then, that's when you found out that, you know, the training shit was for you? Yeah, 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 for sure. It was, I was always in the gym, like in high school, everybody knew I was big, everybody wanna work out with me. Like, that's just the thing. Then, just after high school, you know what I mean? All that just carried, like, it just carried, you know what I mean? It just carried from, Early, like the earlier times, you know what I'm saying? So that's just where it started from. All right, um, so how do you balance out training, exercising, and music? Because I know you say you're more of a trainer than an artist, but how do you balance everything out? How do you make time for, you gotta be in the mood to go and make some music or you know, it's just something that you set in your mind? That I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. It's just like when I wake up in the morning, it's just like, I'm just constantly rapping. You know what I mean? It's just like I'm hearing beats, you know what I'm saying? I'm just listening to beats freestyling. But as far as managing my time, it's just like, I'll be like, one day I'm a train. I'm a train heavy. Next day I'm gonna just focus on the music. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I wanna just manage both, but I don't wanna get too overloaded on this one and this one. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to put, you know what I'm saying, my maximum effort, you know what I'm saying, in, in both things. Right. And do you write all your music or you gotta uh, free, you just freestyle everything? I kind of do both, you know what I'm saying? Like with the music, it's like I can hear the beat. Once the beat come on, lyrics just come to my head, like I'm freestyling. You know what I'm saying? Then I write it down, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Take out the words, you know what I'm saying? That didn't really make sense with the sentence. You know what I'm saying? Correct it, add better words, you know what I'm saying? Just focusing on the wordplay, making sure every bar hit. You know what I mean? Just focus on the deliverance, you know what I mean? Just good content. You keep up with any artists out here in San Antonio? Shit, to be honest, bro, not really. Not really. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't knocking anybody, you know what I'm saying, like that. But it's just far as with the San Antonio rap scene, it's like, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of people out here, you know what I'm saying, that's trying to do their thing. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to come up. You know what I'm saying? But how can I say it? Shit, it's just like some people, they gotta wanna work together. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I just think San Antonio is like a, it's a bunch of crabs in a bucket, everybody trying to get out. You know what I'm saying? You can't be on no hating shit. You know what I'm saying? No hating shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's enough money for everybody out here to eat. You know what I'm saying? Whatever what, whatever it is you trying to do, it ain't even gotta be about the music, but 
Well, with my music though, I'm I'm real confident in my shit that my shit is gonna take off. You know what I'm saying? It's like I got all my shit pre-recorded. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm locked and loaded. Like it's been like like I've been in this mindset for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? But this shit finally here now. What's your what's your game plan? You don't gotta spill your whole sauce, but what's your game plan coming out this year as far as for the music? With the music, man, consistent videos, consistent projects, man, probably in like in a month or two, probably even sooner. You know what I'm saying? The way shit coming out, I'm gonna drop out an EP called 1996. I've been promoting that for a while. You know what I'm saying? And um, consistent videos, projects, interviews. You know what I'm saying? With the interviews, you know what I'm saying? Because this is my first interview type shit, so you can really just like, you can look at this interview and probably like six months from now, you can be like, damn, like he was there. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, y'all finna see. Y'all finna see for sure, for sure. So, um, this is more like kind of like a personal question. Like, what makes your music different from the other artists in the city? What do you bring in that's different from everybody else out here? I'm lyrical, bro. Very, 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 very lyrical. You know what I'm saying? I'm not drowning, you know what I'm saying? My vocals and auto tune. You know what I'm saying? It's just bar for bar. You know what I'm saying? Listening to me, you're going to feel like you listening to a rapper from a whole long time ago. You know what I'm saying? I do like, you know what I'm saying? Some modern rappers. You know what I'm saying? But I really do give you an old school feel. My wordplay, you know what I mean, my deliverance, bars, you know what I'm saying? I really focus on bars, you know what I'm saying, hidden, you know what I'm saying? I give you great subject matter. I'm not just on beat, you know what I'm saying, talk about no dumb shit. I'm giving you some shit that you can really listen to, you know what I'm saying? If you feeling in a mood or something like that, you feeling down, like you can go bump some of my, like bump some of my music, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel I'm different, but I'm very versatile, like, I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Very, very versatile. Like, I can get on any subject matter. I can get on song with anybody. You know what I'm saying? But every, I'm going to tell you this right now. Like, any rapper that I do a song with, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to bring your best shit. For real, for real. It's just like, I bring that to the table. Yeah. Are you looking to do any shows out here? Or are you more focused on grabbing attention from, you know, other, other cities? You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's just like, I got a little local buzz. You know what I'm saying? But it starts from being local, you know what I'm saying? It just really just starts just from your little area. And you come up out of that. But I do got a lot of people fucking with my music, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and shit like that. So right now, I just been putting out my music, making sure my views is getting up. And I'm going to start doing shows and shit like that. For sure, for sure. It's just like I plan to grow with this shit as much as possible. And in, in one of your songs called Vibes, you said, Sorry, Mama, I ain't been the same since Daddy died. Uh, can you talk about that? Shit, it was just like, I lost my daddy, bro, when I was five years old. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that shit hit me, you know what I'm saying, at a young age, you know what I'm saying? Even when you little, you know what I'm saying? You could feel, you know what I'm saying, how you was feeling at that point in time. And I felt that way, you know what I mean? Since then, I still feel the same way since now. At the end of the day, everything all straight, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool, good mind state. Like, it's life, you know what I mean? Shit like that gonna happen. All right, so in another song, you wore a shirt with, in another video, you wore a shirt with Barack Obama and Martin Luther King, yeah, sure. both on the same shirt. Like, what was the reason behind that? Shit, overcomers, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, with the music, you know what I'm saying? I'm really trying to stand for something, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, if you look back at history, just in general, you're going to be like MLK, you know what I mean, overcomer. Barack Obama was an overcomer, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in that mind state, you feel me? And it's just like, you really got to pay attention to the videos, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, if you really just pay attention, like I'm giving you a sense of vibe, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta pay attention, just a little stuff, you know what I'm saying? But all that shit means something. Was there anybody that pushed you, that pushed the music on you? Like, yo, you should do this? No. Nah. Was it just something you found out? Shit, yourself? it was just me, bro. It was just me, bro, cause coming up, when I was in middle school, it was just like, I would just always rap. Just around, everybody be like, damn, you can rap, you can rap. High school, you know what I'm saying, at lunch and shit, I'm always rapping, always rapping, always rapping. You know what I'm saying, just getting better and better and better. You know what I mean, everybody knew me. Anybody I went to high school with, they can be like, that nigga d be <laughs> just be rapping and shit like that. So, now, you know what I'm saying, I don't care how you really just feel now, because that was then and that was, like, is now. You know what I mean, some people being in their little mind states, like, they don't want to support the music and shit like that, but I ain't really focused about shit like that, bro. But, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? People finna see, you know what I'm saying? Because I do feel the energy, you know what I'm saying, in the city, you know what I mean, with just other artists and shit like that. But 
it's finna be all good though. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do my thing, you know what I'm saying? Shout out anybody doing anything. Mm -hmm. And personally, I think it's lit that you're doing this whole fitness thing, you know, and then rapping on the side. Like, like a lot of people just wanna go full on rap and then do nothing else. But you got, you got yourself a main hustle slash side hustle at the same time. Like, can you tell the people the importance of, you know, having a side hustle, an extra income just to support the music? Um, or just to support any other thing that you want to do, any hobby? It's just like with the revenue I already built, it was just like people just going to look at me just because of the training. You know what I'm saying? Then if I just throw some music out there, people going to be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with this too. You know what I'm saying? Some people probably just want to come get a session with me, you know what I'm saying? Just because off the off the music or just off the training, you know what I'm saying? You'll probably know me for the music or the training, you know what I'm saying? Either way, be like, oh, I heard your song. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're a trainer too? You know what I'm saying? So that should just be coming hand in hand, you know what I'm saying? But it should be working out well, you know what I'm saying? But if you're going to do shit like that, you got to do shit you love to do. Your passion, you know what I'm saying? Your mind got to be in this shit, you know what I'm saying? If you really want to do it you know what i'm saying so training and doing music right now bro that's you know what i'm saying them is my main two things i'm doing right now but shit i do a lot of stuff bro i'm multi-talented bro i do a whole lot of shit i'm a man of words bro so, do you have any other business ventures shit yeah bro it's just like like right now like you know i just do the music the training you know what i'm saying but uh show me get my own label started you know what i'm saying start because there's talent in the city for sure you know what I'm saying? I got some young boys that rap, you know what I'm saying? That sound pretty good. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Y'all finna hear them out of my label. You know what I'm saying? With the 1K label and um, shit, start doing businesses, you know what I'm saying? Just tagging myself. It's just like barbershops. It's just like, bro, when I say I'm a businessman, bro, I'm a businessman. Like, I really do mean that shit. It's like I do more than one thing. You know what I'm saying? I can get barbershops going, restaurants, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It's just like, bro, my mind is just on a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I accomplished so much, you know what I'm saying, just from ground up, and this shit just finna get better and better from now. And, and what I realized too, like, now that this corona shit hit, you know, a lot of people lost jobs and shit, um, I'm kinda glad I started my own business type thing, I didn't yeah. have to rely on anything. Um, can you just explain the importance of, you know, having different streams of income? Different streams of income? In times like this? Yeah, for sure, because it's just like, not knocking anybody that works nine to five or anything, you know what I'm saying? If that's your hustle, that's your hustle. You know what I'm saying? But at some points like this, a lot of people is getting laid off. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know what I'm saying? And they just had that one source of income. And I really push like being like an entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying, on a lot of people because it's like you doing something that you love to do. You know what I'm saying? You doing something that you love to do. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when you doing something you love to do, that money. You know what I'm saying? You're not working for the money, you know what I'm saying? That money's just coming in, coming in, coming in. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have multiple things you love to do. You know what I'm saying? That where that money is always coming in. All right, and obviously the gym isn't open right now, but you got a, you got a couple things we can work out in right here in the garage. Like, are you doing like private sessions and shit? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure, I'm doing a lot of those, for sure, for sure. It was just like at a time when that shit was just up and running, when like all this virus shit wasn't going on, I was doing about like, 20 sessions a day. Like, I was hot out here, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people know what I was doing, but shit here, you know what I'm saying? I got in my little area, it ain't much, you know what I'm saying? But I'm thankful for it, you know what I'm saying? I could just bring my little people here, we do our thing. I train about, right now, probably like eight to 10 people, you know what I'm saying? But I'm real content on that, it's all good. What, and what's your views on the live and shit going on right now? Like, we're both 23 years old. Um, a lot of niggas our age aren't really taking this shit serious, but what's your thoughts on it? Cause we really never been thoughts through some shit it. like that on the on the corona shit, everything going on right now in the world. Shit, it's very serious, bro. You know what I'm saying? As you see right now, I'm covered up, shit like that. But I do understand people got to go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Go to the store and shit like that. All like I all like I said, all like I said, like all I can really say is just stay careful. You know what I'm saying? You gonna go out and do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Just stay in if you can. You know what I'm saying? But if you go out, stay careful, wash your hands, cover your face, just stay protected. You know what I mean? What do you think is gonna happen? Like predict, put a prediction out there. Man, predict. Man, honestly, bro, I really think this shit is a new world order. Like all this shit is really just changing before our eyes. Like it's just one of them times, you feel me? Like you can just look back in history, be like, oh, this is when the Great Depression happened. Oh, this is when World War II happened. You know what I mean? Shit like that. But it's really just one of them times, you know? 
you know what I'm saying, some shit is just going to happen, but, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be all good, you know what I'm saying, we just got to wait it out, you know what I'm saying, just like no other time. All right, and going back to the music, what would you say your strengths and weaknesses are? Strengths on the music, it was just like my subject matter, you know what I'm saying, it's heavy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to listen to my song. You ain't going to have no choice but to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my strength. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm actually talking about something. Whether you like how I put, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I lay the music out. You know what I'm saying? But you going to understand what I'm saying. And you're going to get the message I'm trying to say. My weakness. Um, shit, I guess. Um, I'm not going to really say it's a weakness. But I guess. Because um, I'm more of a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Rapper, rapper. But I do want to, you know what I'm saying, get better at using my voice. You know what I'm saying? Being able to like to like sing more. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to work on all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get better and better. Was there ever a time, and, I don't, and it doesn't really pertain to the rap shit, but was there ever a time like you felt like you were doing some shit for no reason? Doing shit for no reason. Yeah, at a time, bro, I, ain't gonna lie, I felt like I was lost and shit like that. Like living life without purpose and shit like that you know what i'm saying but that just really just me just going through lessons and shit like that but you really like I, i'm blessed bro i say i'm blessed because i caught myself at an early age i was like like bro like sometimes i just had like i don't know what you believe in and shit like that but i had like a real you know what i'm saying spiritual awakening bro i was just like man it was just like man i need to do something man it's just i need to put my work to something you know what i'm saying make some shit happen you know what i'm saying just start praying to god you know what i'm saying can you, can you talk about that, the spiritual? Yeah, yeah, shit. My, my spiritual being, my, like my spiritual sense is just like, bro, it's just like I feel real connected. You know what I'm saying? I, I crave to be a righteous person. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fair judge. You know what I'm saying? Just doing everything the right way. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. It's like, I'm not perfect. I don't ever perceive myself to be like no, no perfect person or nothing like that, but I have a good, I have a good heart, bro. So what was the spiritual awakening for you though? Shit, it was like, because like at first when I wasn't even really like, really like focusing like on the business mind, like the business aspect of like being in the gym and like doing the music, it was just like, dang, like, it was just like, it just came to me. I, I like one day bro, I just felt like I could do any fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? As weird that might sound to some people, but one day I just felt like that. I was just like, like bro, I just felt like I just felt big, bro. I felt big as hell, like you know what I'm saying. So I said, I'm gonna just start doing all the shit, you know what I'm saying. That's in my mind. I did that shit, bro. I did all that shit. You know what I'm saying. It's a lot of people out here, you know what I'm saying. They witnesses of this shit. All right. And you also mentioned being lost. Do you still feel like you're lost, or you feel like you're finding your your purpose? You're finding your lane. Bro, I'm great in my purpose, bro. Great. You know what I'm saying? I come a long way, bro. A long way. You know what I'm saying? I've been through too much, bro, not to have faith. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I know I'm going to go through some shit. You know what I'm saying? But you got to understand, like, shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Shit don't last forever, bro. You know what I'm saying? All that tough shit, like, going through shit, like, all that shit don't last forever, bro. That's just the strength in you. You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm definitely not lost, bro. You know what I'm saying? I stay prayed up. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I'm doing right by people, doing right by life. You know what I'm saying? Get my affairs straight. All right. So what's next for you? What you got coming next? Shit, bro. I'm finna drop a video called San Antonio's Finest. Shit, I'm shooting that shit with you. You know what I'm saying? And um, I got another song called 1K Forever. Um, shit, album. Shit, 1996 album, consistent videos. All that shit. Like, I'm always be, I'm always be in your face. It's just like every time you be on social media, you gonna see me, I'm doing something. You know what I'm saying? I'm marketing some type of way, getting some money. All right, and where can we contact you at? Shit, just go to my Instagram. Just follow me at dlu1k on my Instagram and um, on Facebook, Devontae Lewis, and on my Twitter at dlu1k, at D-L-E-W-1-K. Shit, just on my Instagram and my, uh, and my Twitter. Facebook, just my regular name, Devontae Lewis.